that Horus was known as Gadra Hor Akhti, which is one of his forms and names. It means Hor who belongs to the two horizons, the east and the west. This happened after he was introduced to the creed of the sun in Heliopolis and got united with the sun god under the name of Ra Hur Akhti. In his image, Hur Im Akhti, or Hur Mechis, or Horus of the Horizon, Hur was pictured as a sun god in the form of a falcon or a lion. The third image and name of God Hur is Horus, son of Isis. He was worshipped as a son of Osiris and Isis. This child deity was a separate god and quickly he was infused and merged with Horus the falcon and maybe falcon Horus was merged with Osiris family in the image of a son. Hur was connected to kinship in ancient Egypt in both his images, the falcon god and the child son of Isis. The royal name was written down since the beginning of dynasties inside the geometrical shape called Serech, which represents the facade of the palace. This shape is an impersonification of Horus, the falcon, standing above the facade of the palace. This strongly shows the role of the king as an intermediate among the world of the celestial gods and the earthly world. Being a son of goddess Isis, he played a clear heroic role in preserving the royalty and retrieving it from his uncle Set, who usurped it. The fourth Hur is Hur Pagherit or Hur the Child. He is one of the images of Horus and was known in the Greek Roman civilizations by the name Harbocrates or Harbocrat. He was a member of the triad of Alexandria which is composed of Serabis, Isis, and Harbocrates. Harbocrat appears as a boy with a side hair lock. His thumb points to his mouth as an expression of childhood. Above his head, he puts a crown composed of two horns and two feathers and three funnels, or he wears a double crown.